dear students today we are going to discuss a story from unit 1 supplementary while watching the video please note it down the important points that you come across before seeing the story let me ask you two questions how would you react if you suddenly meet a very good friend after a long period of time what are the qualities that make your friendship memorable think of it and write down the answers for these questions let's see your imagination on the day of reopening here is a story entitled after 20 years which is about two best friends who had to part ways they return to keep an appointment they had made 20 years ago in our life what will be waiting for us after some years after 10 or 15 or 20 years what will be waiting for us no one can predict it so in this story what will happen let's see we got the title and its content let's see the theme of the story henry's short story after 20 years focuses on the reunion of two old friends jimmy and bob through their brief encounter the two explore the themes of friendship loyalty and trust pop's punctuality in keeping his meeting with jimmy perhaps best demonstrates his loyalty to their friendship let us see the writer o henry o henry was born in 1862 and died in the year 1910 he is a popular american short story writer whose original name is william sydney potter his works romanticized the life of ordinary people in new york city his stories are well known throughout the world they expressed the effect of coincidence on character and often had unexpected twist in the end we could see unexpected twist and surprising ending in his short stories a few of his other popular short stories are the gift of the majoy the cop and the anthem the ransom of red chief and the third ingredient in the story after 20 years we got find an unexpected twist towards the end of the story he has drawn three major characters in the story bob bob was a wanted man actually he was a criminal he was waiting for his friend outside a shop second jimmy wells jimmy wells is a cop cop means police he was too loyal to his friend to make the arrest himself he was unable to arrest his friend as he is loyal towards his duty and towards his friend third the other cop is the cop that pretended to be jimmy wells pretended in the sense he acted like jimmy wells when jimmy didn't want to make the arrest so these three are the major characters involved in the story and one more thing this slide will help you to know some important things in the story when you go through the textbook these things will help you the policeman on the beat the policeman on the beat which means the policeman is in patrol he walks along the street to check whether everything is fine de peopled the streets despite windy cold weather the streets contain some people there club club in the sense It's a kind of stick used as a weapon by the police. Cigar store. 
cigar in the sense cigarette so cigar store means in the store where cigarettes are sold hardware store we can get hard materials from hardware store in the story hardware store replaces big joe brady's restaurant so before they depart when the two friends decide to depart from each other they met at the restaurant called big joe brady's restaurant after 20 years it was torn down torn down in the sense damaged destroyed so that place now occupied by the hardware store okay let's begin the story after 20 years takes place on a street in new york city around the town of the 20th century many of the businesses on the block are closed for the day a policeman walks along the block testing the door knobs of businesses making sure that they are locked and secure against burglars burglars in the sense thief in the doorway of a hardware store that is closed he comes across a man who has an unlit cigar in his mouth so so he keeps cigarette in his mouth which is not still lighted before the officer can begin to question him the man assures him that he is not a burglar so make sure which means he may not think he might have might have not be uh, not think or thought of him that the man who is standing near by the hardware store uh, might be a thief so the man assures him that he is not a burglar that he is mere, merely uh, only waiting for a friend he goes on to light his cigar and let the officer why he and his friend are meeting at such a dark and desolate place desolate place means known as that completely silent uninhabited and giving an impression of bleak emptiness so that is called desolate 20 years earlier he explains he and his friend had dinner at a restaurant called big joe brady's restaurant you could see this uh, in the slide that i show you know so that is the restaurant big joe brady's restaurant which used to be located where the hardware store stands now the officer confirms that this was the site of the restaurant up until 5 years earlier so before 5 years it was there but uh, earlier 5 years back it was destroyed and the hardware store was built at the time of their last meal together the man continues he was in 18 years old and his friend jimmy was 20 so when they were about to depart from each other bob was 18 years old and jimmy was 20 years old the two had grown up together and were the closest of friends but the man was leaving the next morning to go out to the west to find his fortune west in the sense west states of america so the place taken place in new york so 20 years earlier bob wanted to go to the west to find his fortune and jimmy was the type of person who would never leave new york after eating that dinner that night they agreed that no matter where they were or what they were doing they would both do all they could to return to that same spot at the exact exact same time 10 o'clock exactly 20 years later the officer expresses interest asking why they had been in contact so seldom over the past 20 years which means they have not been in contact over the past 20 years the man briefly explains that he has been busy in the west 
trying to make his fortune he checks the time on his watch which is adorned with the diamonds so uh, saying about his meeting to the officer he took a watch from his pocket and which is adorned adorned in the sense attracted decorated with the diamonds indicating that he has been successful in his business endeavors endeavors in the sense try hard to do or achieve something the time is 3 minutes before 10 o'clock the precise moment that they are scheduled to meet the officer stays a few minutes more and it is after 10 o'clock when he says goodbye and leaves so after 10 o'clock after sometimes the officer bade goodbye to the man who waited for his friend after 20 years the man waits 20 minutes more finally another man approaches bundled up against the light rain that has started to fall the new man calls the man in the doorway bob and answers to the name of jimmy wells as they chat jimmy points out that he has not done as well financially as bob so from this we come to know bob has become almost rich in his life but jimmy didn't reach that position up to the level of bob so he has a position in a city department so he says about his situation about his position in his life towards bob he suggests that they go, go to a place that he knows of nearby where they can get out of the rain and have a long talk about old times so still it is raining you know so he wants to get him to go about uh, some distance from the place where they standing now when they pass through the light emanating from the window of your drug store that is still open so there is a store that is drug store which is still open bob looks at the man he is with and ex, uh, uh, exclaims with uh, certainty that he is not jimmy wells so uh, with the help of the light coming from the drug store he could see the man who called himself jimmy wells bob finds out that he is not really jimmy wells though a man can change much in 20 years he explains the shape of his nose could never be so drastically altered the other man says that he is in fact a plain cloth police officer and that the man whom he now refers to as silky bob has been under arrest since they met 10 minutes ago for warrants issued in chicago so finding the nose see here roman nose roman nose in the sense it would be short but on the other side you could find puck nose it would be flat and round shape but jimmy wells has roman nose but the man who came to bob has the puck nose on his face so on seeing this he could find that he is not really jimmy wells so realizing it uh, the other man the man who called himself who pretend to be jimmy wall says that he is in fact a plain cloth police officer and that the man whom he now refers to as silky bob has been under arrest since they met 10 minutes ago for warrants issued in chicago so the chicago government wants to arrest bob as he was a criminal so he was doing an illegal business Uh, so as to re- reach high position in his life so he is a wanted criminal so in order to arrest him uh, the man who pretend to be a, uh, to be jimmy wells came to him to arrest him he gives pop a note a kind of bit note 
and says it, it is from patrolman wells so finally the man who pretended to be jimmy wells gave a bit note to bob that bit note consists these words bob i was at the place on time i saw the face of a man wanted by the chicago police i didn't want to arrest you myself so i went and got another cop to do the job jimmy so in the note the real jimmy wells explains that he was in fact the officer who was with bob at the site of big joe brady's restaurant at 10 o'clock actually in the man in the beginning uh, we saw you know the police he was jimmy wells but he didn't reveal the secret to bob because on the light when he was about to light the cigarette he could find that he was bob his friend for whom he was waiting for uh, at the place at 10 o'clock but despite the things he also found one more thing that he was the criminal wanted by the chicago government but that when bob struck a match to light his cigar he recognized bob's face as the one wanted in chicago jimmy didn't have the nerve to arrest his old friend so despite a loyal police he didn't like to arrest his friend it shows the true friendship of jimmy wells and also uh, it indicates his loyalty towards his job so he went back to get another cop to do the same job by himself so he had left before he could be recognized and found a plain plain class officer to arrest him so finally the culprit the criminal arrested by the cop of the chicago but jimmy wells proved his friendship and also his loyalty towards his duty so from this story what moral that we can learn the moral intended by o henry in after 20 years is that once a man becomes an habitual criminal he can never trust anybody not even his own best friend this is the penalty any man or woman has to pay for leading a life of crime i hope you all understood the story please go through the textbook and learn the most important vocabulary is used in that story that will help you to develop your communication skill so do this and have more practice of reading and listening thank you for watching my video